the scores, we could see what it meant to you, what, what's going on inside the head. Um, what's going inside my head is Darnell kicked a bloody goal and he didn't, <laughs> so it wasn't over, they got the ball back. You know, they had a couple of cracks at us. You know, even the last play of the game, they've kicked across to their left and then kicked one back to our right. And I'm just, you know, we've lost a lot of tight games this year and I'm just just praying that we got the job done tonight. And thankfully, Innes caught the ball there, the last ball, and, and put it over the sideline. And, um, yeah, it won a, you know, one of the more satisfying wins, that's for sure. How big a two points could that prove to be, do you think? Oh, massive. You know, like, um, you know, there's no secret we're in a bit of a... A fight down the bottom of the ladder, and we needed to we needed to win tonight. We just needed to find a way to win, and it's not it's easy said than done coming to whole KR against the team that is just as desperate as us. Uh, we knew we knew we were going to have to fight, you know, till the 80th minute to win tonight. Um, you know, particularly with the weather the way it was, it was never going to be a high scoring game. Um, but you know, look, we, there are a lot of things there we need to improve from an attack point of view. We lost our composure a little bit, and we we bombed a couple of chances. But to KR's credit, too, I you know they. They got us on the try line a couple of times in that second half where I thought we were going to score and um, and their, de their defence held up pretty good in the second half too. So, um, yeah, we worked hard. We got the win. That's all that counts. Was it a frustrating first half from a coach's point of view? There were a couple of brain explosions, weren't there? Oh, yeah, there was. You know, I was, I was disappointed with the last five minutes. We got we got a... We, you, know, you know, young Tom Holmes kicked early there and, 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 you know, when we were on the attack and, and you know, just gifted him possession. Mm -hmm. Then we got the ball back and Darnell... You know, through the, the Hail Mary out his backside from the scrum play once. You know, we need to be better there. And we spoke about that at half time. And, you know, we can't, you know, put in the effort we did and then let him off the hook the way we did. We, you know, we should have really been in front at half time. So, uh, but to the boys' credit, they, they, they came out in the second half. They, they got back, they got their hands dirty. They rolled their sleeves up. Thought, you know, our plan from an attack point of view coming out of yardage really worked. I thought we worked over their middles really well. And we, we worked our way up the field quite quite well which we haven't been able to do in the past so I thought um, you know from an attack point of view that was really pleasing. Any plans, special plans for the break? Tell them you got break? No nah, look we've got the boys will have four or five days off now we'll come back in Wednesday I think it is and we'll start getting you know get back in to start preparing for Leeds. Um, um, obviously it's a, it's a bit of a long turnaround now so it's important we give them a break it's an opportunity to have a break now and um, and um, we'll come back Wednesday and start getting ready for Leeds Friday, the Friday week after that. How's that desk that you were thumping up there? Is it still in one piece? Yeah, I didn't break it tonight, but um, <laughs> I nearly did when Jess scored that last try. But um, yeah, look, I get emotional at times. It's just who I am. It's how I am. I try really hard not to, but um, yeah, no, I'm fighting a losing battle there. Don't change. No, I won't. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you.